Of course. Okay. I am on the iPhone simply because I'm saving the other camera for my video shoot tonight, this afternoon. Possibly I got a message last night saying that um, location may have changed for this shoot. Or it may be postponed, so we're, I'm, I'm still up in the air on that. I have no clue what's going on, really, if if it's if it's going down or if it's not. I don't know yet. But anyway, I got breakfast. I got coffee. I'm ready to get this day started, and uh, that's about it. <laughs> and I got a cat over here on the counter, always knocking stuff over. She's gonna knock. Okay, I'm back. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna get into my breakfast. I'm going to go check some emails to see if I can figure out what's going on for this shoot. Um, there is a horror con um, next weekend in the town that I work in. And, um, well I work in multiple towns, but I'm, I'm there a lot. And I'm supposed to be there that weekend for another haunt shoot, which would be great. And, and so if I'm there, I'm probably going to vlog and do some filming at HorrorCon because um, it's uh, it's like a Comic Con, but it's all about you know scary stuff, duh. And um, they actually have a haunted house inside HorrorCon. You can pay twenty bucks, go to HorrorCon, and go through the haunted house. Um, that's t a total GoPro um, opportunity. Um, so I, I'm probably going to definitely take advantage of that because, um, I think that probably goes on during the day and then I can go do my video shoot at night. Anyway, I'm going to eat my breakfast. I will see you guys in the next clip. Okay. <sighs> Just got off the phone with, uh, one of the clients the Latino for Trump shoot is not going to happen until next week. So, but I, then I got a call asking me to come shoot another, uh, do another video shoot this evening. So I still got, I'm still on the iPhone simply because I still got to leave my camera good to go for this evening's shoot. It's not the shoot I, I originally thought I was going to do, but it's a video shoot nonetheless. I'm heading to the Nerd Cave. Um, since I found that uh, hard drive, I'm going to put all of my video footage onto that hard drive. I have a 64 gig SD card that I need. It is full of video footage. I'm going to take all that footage and dump it onto this big ass hard drive. And um, where's my keys? Where the hell's my key? in my pocket and then um that way I, i'm freeing up all my my uh my sd cards and I've, i have a lot of sd cards 16 gigs 32 gigs the 64 gig i only have one of those um then i got some small 8 gig and stuff like that but it doesn't matter because um i uh i want to free them all up dump all that footage and 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 the cool thing about it is because then I can keep that footage for as long as I need to keep it. And then eventually I'm sure I'm going to have to get rid of it because this hard drive, you know, may fill up. But it's going to take a while. It's a big hard drive. So anyway, that's awesome. So I'm going out there. I'm going to work on my SD cards for now. And then I am going to uh, hop on my bike and get a little exercise. I'm still feeling kind of like garbage. I still feel a little crappy. Uh, sore throat. My throat kills. And uh, the sniffling has, has gone, and, and I'm starting to feel better, but man, my throat. I was drinking my coffee this morning. I could hardly swallow it. So anyway, I am going to get my SD cards 
emptied, hop on my bike, and go get in trouble. No, no, I, I better not get in trouble. But, you know, you know what I mean. Or maybe you don't know what I mean. Because, you know, sometimes I don't even know what the hell I mean. Okay, I'll stop rambling. I will see you guys in the next clip. Man, it's cold in the Nerd Cave. Dear Lord, I gotta turn the heater on. It is freaking cold in here. Crank this baby up. I turned it all the way up. I turned it up to 90 degrees. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now it's 90 degrees. That's as high as it goes. It's a little fireplace heater, but it does work. I mean, you would be surprised how much square footage that thing will cover. Okay, Ugh, I am working on, <laughs> look at this. I just put my 64 gig hard drive in there, or my 64 gig SD card. Here's, here's all my footage. Area footage, concert footage, February project, mattress dominoes, one hour, 13 minutes remaining to dump it from my 64 gig SD card over to here. So, <laughs> that's going to take a while. And it probably will take every bit of that time because that is a lot of video clips. Okay, I was thinking, guys. I was thinking about the channel. I was thinking about my job doing videography. I'm going to set you guys right there. You can look at the back of, of uh, Hal Jordan. I'll, I'll slide him over a little bit. I'll turn him to face you. There. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking about the channel, daily vlogging. All my jobs, all my work, um, and the time I have, my time constraints. Now, I do love the daily vlog, and I will still do some of that. I don't know. I'm trying to figure this out, because the daily vlog takes so much time, and it's, it's all day long, and then it's evening edits, and uh, on top of trying to daily vlog and do my job of editing promo videos and doing events and stuff like that, and, it, and, and, and this career that I've gotten into just keeps going, getting better and better and better. And um, I've got a lot of work coming up, and I've got a lot of things that I've got to do Oh man, I just I just don't know what to do. I love daily vlogging, and and if I could make a living at daily vlogging, that would be cool. Um, I would have fun with it, but to daily vlog um, and and try to stay on top of all this stuff, it's just you know I'm I'm splitting myself in so many different directions. So here's my thought. I'm thinking about converting the nerd cave. It would still absolutely be a nerd cave. It would be I would be surrounded by all of my stuff and toys and comic books. But I've got this big desk here, and this is a very big desk. I'm thinking about bringing in another desk to have my computer station at. I'm thinking about using this desk as a studio setup to to do different things with um, in the way of of if if I wanted to do some overhead shots and I could have like a white thing rolled out um, or a green screen or something and do studio work here but I'm thinking of doing more of a like to, to still do unboxings but you know and to still do stuff like that but I'm very I like being very creative and creating things I thought about just doing like stuff like that um, doing videos of of me creating stuff instead of a daily vlog still I would still do a video every day but here's the thing, and here's what makes it easy. Daily vlogging is not easy. So for, for the people who are making money at it, and it's their job, that makes it a little easier. Um, I just want to make movies. I don't necessarily have to daily vlog. Now, granted, it is, you know, vlogging my everyday life and bits and pieces and things that I can go back and look on, and I like that. And, and so when there is significant moments in my life, it will become a vlog. But I'm thinking about only maybe doing a vlog once a week. And then the rest of my videos throughout the week will be maybe if I make a little movie, which I'm going to start doing a lot of that just for practice for the career that I'm in. Being a videographer, working on promo gigs and, and um, putting together promotional stuff and even some music videos and things like that. So um, those are my thoughts. Those are just my thoughts. Now, my channel isn't that big, so it really doesn't matter what I do at this point. But for the people who do watch and the people who do enjoy my daily vlogs, I'm talking to you. 
And uh, if you want to get feedback, that's cool. You can. If you really don't care what I do, then don't give any feedback and I'll just do whatever. But um, I absolutely need to do, I need to go in the direction that I need to go in the way of career. And what I'm doing, I love. I'm making videos and I love making videos. That's why I daily vlogged because I loved getting very creative with my daily vlogs. But that's, I still try to get creative, but I can't be as creative as I used to be simply because I'm busy doing all this other stuff. I'm busy editing videos for other people. So what I should do is when I do promos and when I do other things, and I've kind of been doing that anyway, is I'll upload those to my channel. And I'm going to make little movies. I want to make a, a, a little movie, a short film called I'm a Videographer. And i um, going through some stuff like that in a very fun and creative way. And I think those are the things that I'm going to work on and, um, and doing different things. I'm not sure when this will take place. Um, I've kind of grown very accustomed to just daily vlogging, getting up, grabbing the camera, vlogging throughout the day, editing it in the evening, and posting it. We'll see what happens. I really don't know. But anyway, i still got an hour and eight minutes on getting all my footage off that 64 gig card. That is going to take a while. An hour and eight minutes. It's a lot of footage. There's concert footage on there. There's event footage on there. There's speed painting footage on there. There's, gosh, there's, there's drone footage on there. So much footage. All right, so those are my thoughts on the channel. Um, I really do look forward to just setting up my camera and getting the best quality out of my camera rather than being out vlogging, like doing little short films and things in studio um, with uh, maybe narrated using my soundboard and, and my digital audio recorder and just making some really cool quality short films. And who knows, maybe I'll make them out of some of these guys. <laughs> you never know. Maybe I'll do some stop motion stuff. I don't know. I want to make films. I want to make short movies. And maybe maybe the Steve Tooley channel can become, and I know I've taken it in so many different directions. I, I have totally taken this channel in so many different directions, but I haven't found my niche on YouTube yet, obviously, because I'm not getting very many views or subscribers. I am getting more subscribers now that I've been out in the field working with people. I'm getting pe those people are subscribing to me. And uh, anyway, I want your feedback. I'm almost eight minutes into a clip. I want your feedback. Tell me what I should do. Should I start making little short films and make the Steve Tooley channel about that? Should I keep daily vlogging so you can see what's going on in my everyday life with me and my family? Or, you know, should I do other stuff? I don't know. I don't know. Or should I just post all of my promo stuff and all the stuff I do outside working for other people and working for clients? Should I just start, keep posting that and make that my YouTube channel? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I do know I want more subscribers only because I like when people see my stuff and like it. I like when I create and people see it and enjoy it. Um, I'm creating for entertainment purposes. So for people to be entertained by something I made, I like that. Give me your feedback, guys. Please give me your feedback. Anybody who sees this, anybody who's watching, post in the comments below and give me some feedback and tell me what maybe you guys would like to see. And for all the people, all the new subscribers, tell your friends. Let them know. I'm not ending the vlog. I'm just saying. Spread the word. Help me build this channel a little bit and help me figure out what to do. Daily vlogging is cool and I do much enjoy it, but I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm just strapped for time is all. I'm strapped for time. Johnny and Mike, they know how to keep a guy busy, which is a good thing. Thank you, Johnny and Mike. Thank you so much. I appreciate the work. I truly do. And, 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 and I don't want you to stop bringing it on. But with that, that's the money maker. That's what pays. That's what I got to focus on. So give me your feedback, guys. Really, give me your feedback, please. I got to get this done. Well, actually, I'm going to go on a bike ride while this while this does its thing. Well, I'm down to an hour and five minutes. I, I went down by three minutes. All right, guys. I will see you in the next clip. Whew. All right, guys. Well, I did not go get... Hold on one second. Don't move. I gotta open this, but I always I always clean the top off because it's it's a pet peeve. I think the tops of cans are disgusting. Yeah, it's OCD things. So I gotta clean it off real good. Now I gotta open it. Okay. Oh, so good. 
I'm going to turn my heat back on now that I'm done. I did not go for a bike ride, but I did something equally as exerting. Yeah, um, well, pretty close. I gave the Nerd Cave a makeover. That's my Lego shelf, which used to be right here. This now is my computer desk area, which used to be on here. This is fairly empty. The reason is, is because I'm going to get one of them big white rolls of paper that you can roll out for when I want to do certain videos or different things here to do more studio work, to do more in-studio work. Um, I will have my lights back up and things like that. So so that, that pretty much stayed almost where it was. It moved a little bit. This definitely got moved. That shelf there got moved from here to there. And then this table got brought in from the house, which was just using it for, it was just sitting in a corner and I'm using that, and then this is a glider rocker that's, who knows how old that thing is. Um, it was just setting upstairs in the hallway. So, I repurposed. I repurposed stuff to put in the nerd cave, so. So there you have that. Anyway, I don't know why I talked with a lisp when I said repurposed. It just sounded like one of them words that you would say with a lisp. But anyway, I'm going to meet up with Zach go over some business stuff and uh, yeah I've been working on this all morning and now I get to hop on my bike there I do like it though I do I like the uh, let's get an aerial try to get an aerial not an oral but a, I apologize terrible joke I'm perverted I'm sorry um, so yeah so here, here it is here it is. It's in all of its glory. I do like the computer area. It's um, it's cool. And on the old, very old iPad that I keep out here, um, is um a show, a series called Steampunked. I don't know if you've ever watched it. It is so interesting, so creative, inspires me. I love it. Okay. Time to hop on the bed, and it's still cold outside. It, it's still very—I don't think it's going to get very warm today. I mean, it's—it's it's chilly. Oh, I was reaching for my phone. Uh, my phone's in my hand. I'm—I'm I'm recording on my phone. I've gotten used to that, Canon. And I am going to do a "What's in My Bag" video, and that will get done right here as well. You know, you can set the camera up um, and record it that way. And I can hook my digital audio um, recording device in there. Um, I've got some really good ideas for even maybe even the Lou Brock uh, video that I put together uh, of narrating that um, as I talk about Lou Brock and some of the things he's done and putting together that video. And so I can use this mic, which is ran into there. My digital audio will be on the, the, the stereo out, so I'll record through this mic with the pop filter into my digital audio recorder. Very cool. Okay, and that's very cool. That, that, that works very well for narrating videos rather than um, trying to sync uh, you know, a recorded digital digital audio to your voice or to your mouth. Um, it's, anyway. Alrighty guys, and, and I got, I've got, I've got Harley Quinn, the Joker, two, two of, two of my, well, the Joker is my utmost favorite villain for D, for DC, um, and Harley Quinn is, is pretty much his sidekick, so, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm gonna go, I will see you guys in the next clip, as always, bye. I got Parkinson's. That's not funny either. Parkinson's is not funny. I love Michael J. Fox. I'm just, not that he's the only person in the world with Parkinson. Hey, I'll see you in the next clip. <laughs>
clip to this vlog clip I ended up going to Zach's we ended up going out for lunch you know talking over business figuring up invoices getting ready to you know invoice well she's gonna invoice people because she kind of manages this whole business situation and uh, she's gonna send out the invoice so I can get paid and, and it's just been a very long gap between the last clip and this clip so and uh, the video might be a little late it doesn't help saying it in the video because you know but I want to get some, might get some video clips of the shoot I'm doing tonight, maybe. It's for a, it's a charity event, and that, and I do a lot of, of that, video shoots for charity events. So I'm going to uh, maybe get a few clips of that, and then I'll get this thing edited and sent out, you know, as quick as possible. Do you work tomorrow? Yeah. thought maybe if she didn't have to go in tomorrow, that, you know, we wouldn't have to rush around. And I could be, anyway, it doesn't matter. Alrighty, so we're heading home. It is almost three o'clock. Emily will be home soon, and uh, and then that's it. That's that's the vlog so far. And and you guys will. I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog at this event because it's not that exciting. It's not like it's a haunt or a concert. It's like a. It's like a an auction for the for for a charity. So. I, maybe I'm just maybe I'll just end the vlog now. I'll just end the vlog now. And if anything, if I shoot anything interesting, that I'll I'll make sure I put it in the vlog because I won't edit the vlog until after I get back from the shoot, which won't be until about nine o'clock tonight. So about nine thirty, yeah, nine thirty or ten. I don't know when we'll get home. Um, it all depends. But I'm gonna try to get out of there as soon as it's over with. Um, so I don't know. Anyway, so I am gonna end the vlog right here. Not a very exciting vlog today, and I know they haven't really been that exciting lately simply because uh, I've been busy, and I apologize. That's why I'm thinking about next in the daily vlogs and just putting up a daily video, but it won't be necessarily be a vlog video. And I will still do some vlogging if I decide to go this route. I will still do some vlogging when, you know, maybe on the weekends or something. I don't know. I gotta figure it all out because I, I'm becoming a very busy, busy man in the way of videography. I constantly getting asked to go shoot something so it's uh we're booked we are booked literally booked all the way into february of next year so it's it's a busy time so i gotta i gotta i gotta try to get a balance in between youtube and this and i know i can i can i can use a lot of the shoots that i do on my youtube channel and, and put those up as videos which i've been doing but uh, to daily vlog, it's like all day of, of shooting video of my day and then editing in the evening and then putting that video up along with loads of editing all day long. I edit all day long. I mean, they're going, I'm, I'm doing video shoots in the evening and editing most of my days. So, so it's just, it's just getting a little tough to, to, to do both. And the reason I say, well, I think I've already explained this, but the reason I, if I did a studio in studio, video for the vlog for for the video for my daily video is because that's easier to get done and out of the way and edited and it's not a thing that I'm trying to do all day long if you understand what I'm saying and if not well then I don't know what to tell you anyway <laughs> my wife has had is having a bad day um it's a sad day uh, because her bird Lily, who you guys have always heard in the background of my vlogs, she she didn't she's gone. She she's she's not alive anymore, and that's sad because she's had her for she got her for Mother's Day one year, because she's had her for a while, and uh, so it sucks. And she's she's kind of bummed out about it, and I don't blame her. So yeah, so you won't you know if I if I continue these vlogs or if I start doing weekend vlogs. You won't be hearing Lily in the background anymore. And that, that makes me sad to say it out loud now because it was kind of a thing. Like, you always heard the bird. I don't know. Anyway, guys, 
Thanks for coming. Well, with that very sad, depressing news, I will end the vlog, and I apologize. Oh, uh, anyway, I will. Uh, I will thank you guys for coming to the Steve Tooley channel. Thank you for watching this daily vlog. As I say at the end of every vlog, thank you for watching. I appreciate all you guys sharing and and liking, and it it does it. It really is awesome that you guys support my content as much as you do. I truly appreciate it. And again, like I asked earlier. If you have any suggestions, if you want me to quit the daily vlogs, if you don't think I should, or if you you know if you have any suggestions on some videos that I should do, or if I should do try to do some little short films, or if I should do in studio stuff, tell me what you want to see, um, and uh, and I'll do what you do what you guys want me to do. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Say bye, wife. Bye. See you tomorrow, guys. $3,000, leave her $3,100, $3,000 going once, $3,000 going twice, sold at $3,000. Right, good night, good night, good night, I got one for you. Hey, good luck finding out who gets the sofa set out of that group. Come see me. Thank you.